Um, uh, something else I really like about your writing, uh, first off, you're a great writer. I, I like the way you um, use analogies. I, I do a lot of that in my, my writing, too. Thank you. I'll just throw one out quickly that struck me, um, was the lion tamer analogy. And the, and the, do you want to talk a little bit about that with the stool? Yeah, yeah, sure. So I think, you know, one of the things when it comes to, to living healthy, especially in our current age, is that we've never lived in a more distracted time, right, between social media and blog posts and the TV and the internet in general, um, you know, your phone is always on you and buzzing, push notifications, everything. So there's, there's no limit to the amount of information that's bombarding you on a daily basis. And so I think one of the greatest skills that we can have for living a healthy life is this ability to, short, to prevent our attention from being divided um, and to focus on a singular task, whatever it happens to be for us that's important to us uh, that day. And I started thinking about this because I heard this story about the lion tamer. And there was, there was a lion tamer named Clyde Beatty in the early 1900s, and he became, he rose to popularity and to fame, well, partially because he was one of the only ones who didn't die um, in that time. A lot of them died in the <laughs> ring. Right. He had like a 30-year career. But also he became famous because he was the first lion tamer to use a stool in the ring, uh, you know, a, this four-legged chair and a whip. And that's the classic image of the lion tamers, you know, holding a whip and holding the stool and the whip gets a lot of the press, a lot of the, you know, the show because it makes a loud noise and it's, you know, good for in the circus ring and everything. It wows the audience. But in reality, it's the stool that does most of the work. And the reason is because when you put these four legs in front of a lion's face, it, its attention gets divided between all four and it doesn't know which one to pounce on or which, you know, which to go after first. And so as a result, it sort of paralyzes the lion and it freezes. And I think that's a great metaphor for what happens to us so often. Like how often is our attention divided? And we have things that we say are important to us, or we have goals that we say are important to us. We have businesses that we would like to build or books that we would like to write. But we choose to freeze, and we're paralyzed because there's so many different inputs at once. And if we can instead take a little slightly different approach where we have this singular focus on a particular goal and just – choose to commit to something you know it doesn't necessarily have to be that you have to figure it all out right now but just committing to a single task prevents you from being paralyzed like the lion and allows you to get more done right excellent like i said it allows you to eat the lion tamer yeah <laughs> it does it allows <laughs> you to eat the gatekeeper that's the lion's goal